good, good evening, gentlemen and friends. I invited you here to address you on the present situation we have found ourselves uh, on the 25th February election, which was conducted by Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The presidential election was conducted, senatorial election was conducted, and House of Representative election was conducted. And uh, with the outcome of the election across the country, it has shown that the new technology introduced by INEC, BIBAS, and the uploading of the result sheet and transmission of the result from the polling unit it has come to stay. People who you have not expected to win election have won election. An Okada rider in Kaduna won a fair house of representative election in Kaduna in Kaura Perro constituency. Serving governors who have money, who can manipulate the system, who can bribe an official, lost election. Ben Ayade of Cross River. Oguani has lost election. Atiku Bagudo lost election. And many others on the way, they will lose the election after declaration at the coalition center, the various coalition centers. A certain senators who have performed very well, Senator Uche Ekunipe in Anambra State, lost election to the former national chairman of Abga, Senator Victor Wume, has been returned to the Senate by the grace of God. Somebody who has contested, contested election in Injukoka, Dunukofia, Anyocha, Peru constituency, he was elected on that plateau of Aga 2003-2007. After all the years, he was out of the National Assembly and he won election on that label. Well, Abga has a sitting governor in Anambra State. In that Anambra Central, they have a serving senator. They have a serving House of Rep member in that constituency where Peter Obi come from and they lost election. So what I'm trying to experiment here is to tell you a letter written by Obasanjo to Mr. President of Nigeria is baseless, is uncalled for, and is disastrous to the unity and the peace of this country. Somebody who has been a military head of state, somebody who has been a head president for good eight years, is a beneficiary of the democratic struggle of Nedeku and other confederates in this, this country. And now he's trying to turn back to truncate the hard end democracy, which people have labored for for good 24 years. The, 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 the democracy has come to stay. Uninterrupted military intervention for good 24 years. From 1999 to 2023, we have an uninterrupted democratic transition. And now, somebody who has been a civilian president, military president, is sending an invitation of chaos and violence and calamity in this our dear nation. It cannot be longer to be tolerated by so called President Obasanjo. Former President of Asanjo. This is an unpatriotic for somebody being a leader like former president to insert public against the government. For him to say that the coalition should be stopped is just trying to now bring back or refresh our memory to the period of military rule of President Ibrahim Babangida. When Humphrey Owosu, Professor Humphrey Owosu, canceled the election, which was believed to be pre and fair and transparent election in the history of Nigeria, that is election won by MQ Abiola, and that is same. It is the same history he want to repeat. He want us to have another June 12 in Nigeria. 
God forbid, 30 years ago, a former president is now inviting Nigerians for another June 12th. Calling for cancellation. It's unacceptable. Nigeria has a, lo a lot of laws. We have laws. We have constitution. We have election manual. We have election guidelines. We have also electoral at 2022. It was clearly in Nigerian constitution and in the, on the electoral act 2022 that if any candidate feels a grip or any political party feels a grip, he should re seek redress in the court of law. But you cannot and you should not also invite or incite members of the public against the government. In summary, what Obasanjo did is treasonable felony. Nigerian security should do their constitutional duty in line with the constitution of Nigeria to invite president, former president Obasanjo for questioning. And he should write an undertaking that whatever happens at the end of the coalition and declaration of this result, Obasanjo, if there is any breakdown of law, breakdown of law and order, should be charged for a treasonable felony in the appropriate court of law. It's uncomfortable and baseless. If you look at the history, former INEC chairman, Professor Jega, Atari Jega, introduced smart card leader. And our election improved from 20, 20, 20, 20, 2011 to 2015, the election improved. People have gone to court challenging the election and they were declared governors or reps or senators. In 2015 to, the, 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 to 2019, also there was some improvement. In 2022, people have called for review of the electoral laws. And with the revision of the electoral law, and sign it into law by the Mr. President. It, there is enough provisions that a candidate can challenge an election in the appropriate uh, tribunal, election petition tribunal. So anybody calling for the annex chairman to the stop collection of results. He shows he's an ignorant of Nigerian laws. If you feel a grip on the outcome of the election, what you should do, if you know that you have a genuine case, is to approach a court of law and seek redress. But you have no right whatsoever in line with the law of this country to stop any chairman from continuing coalition of the law and declaring the candidate. That was what the constitution said. So the action of Labour Party and PDP, they have addressed press conference. And there's a letter from the OB campaign organization urging all Nigerians in the 36th state, including Abuja, to occupy an office by 9 a.m. I call on the head of security agencies to invite the author of that letter and holding responsible for any breakdown of law and order across Nigeria. Secondly, Mr. Peter Obi has happened to be a member of AMGA while I was a national secretary for good eight years. Peter Obi is the beneficiary of judicial struggle. In 2003, he approached the court when he lost election to NGG, a candidate of PDP. Peter Obi challenged the election result from 2003 to 2016. He was in court for two years, 10 months, and the court declared him, uh, court of appeal, Inugu, declared him winner of the election in 16 March 2006. 2000 and, uh, 2006. and Peter Obi was sworn in on 17 March 2006. 
who was a beneficiary of the judicial struggle, and he know is a, a court veteran. He know how to approach court and seek redress. Nobody should drum or invite or call for any violence or breakdown of law and order in Nigeria. Peter Obi again, after Andy Uba was elected on that platform of PDP. Peter Obi again approached the court and seek for tenure interpretation. And it's clearly in the constitution that the day governor took an order of office, an order of allegiance, then his tenure will start counting. And that is what gave birth to what Adams Oshemele was the beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. Agreshola is a beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. Uh, Kayode Payemi is a beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. Uh, uh, Idris Wada Bello is also a beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. And Hope Ozdima is a beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. Uh, Bayelsa Dixon is a beneficiary of Peter Obi, judicial struggle. And many others in this country are beneficiary of Peter Obi, struggle. So Peter Obi, being a law-abiding citizen from the day I know him, please, he should call his supporters across the country and call even Obasanjo to order who is supporting him that they have every reason to go to court constitutionally to seek redress. An invitation for chaos, an invitation for violence, an invitation for, uh, for, for, for anything that will cause a breakdown of down order is apparent disregard the provision of the Electoral Act 2002 and the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I hereby call all the ABC supporters nationwide to be law-abiding citizens of this country. The result coming in at the National Coalition Center, Presidential Election National Coalition Center, is highly encouraging and in the few hours to come, we are going to celebrate nationwide. Peter Obi should, should accept in the outcome of the result, including Atiku. I urge them to accept the outcome of the result and seek redress in the law court. Peter Obi miraculously performed well in the election. I think the best thing for him is to go to court, and if he fell in the court, and try again. But he has a good starting, and it's highly encouraging. So I call on all Nigerians to accept the INEC new technology, to accept the outcome of the election result, and also to get ready for 11 March 2023. Governorship and State House Assembly election. So, members of the press, I think this is my final bus stop. Questions. If you have any question, maybe they the TV. Maybe they the TV. Maybe they the TV. But the girl Say in my ebay the TV. Kakarakasa online TV. My play the TV. Get in TV my padakarwa. Tarit in the shot and tarwa.